All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I'm getting ready to do a video uh, written by John Crump. I'm going to put his link to his YouTube channel down below. If you're not subscribed to him, go, go over there and take a look at it. He's one of those guys that really does a great job in journalism as well as investigation stuff. So another thing I wanted to talk to you about before we get into that, I bought me one of these things. This is a DPMS. I'm going to bring it down here. <laughs> I'll put the picture right here. This is a DPMS full auto BB gun. And yes, that was an EOTech sitting on top of that BB gun. Uh, yeah, right now, uh, Amazon's got it on sale. I got the link over there on my campsite. Uh, look down below. Uh, $163. And yes, it is the most fun that you can have period in your backyard i mean seriously uh and just like that guys all right let's get into this thing poor kyle rittenhouse um this this poor kid is just never going to catch a break uh kenosha wisconsin this is from ammo land written by again mr john crump the motion to dismiss the civil case against kyle rittenhouse by the family of anthony huber was denied so if you want to know who Anthony Huber was, that's the cat that was carrying the uh, the skateboard and tried to hit Rittenhouse over top of the head. And, of course, he popped one and uh, took him out. So Anthony Huber was shot and killed by Mr. Rittenhouse after attacking the teenager with a skateboard at Black Lives Matter protests that turned into a riot. Mr. Rittenhouse was there to provide medical aid to anyone who needed it after he spent the day cleaning up vandalism. Yeah. So at the same house, at the same token, basically, guys, the anti-gun people will never stop, never stop, never stop, never stop. At the time of the shooting, Rittenhouse was being chased by an angry mob after shooting a convicted child rapist who attacked him. Yeah, the crowd descended on the young man, and when he stumbled, and fell to the ground. All right, here it is. The lawsuit was launched by Anthony Huber's father, John Huber. The elder Huber claims that Rittenhouse unjustly shot and killed his son and is entitled to a cash settlement. Wisconsin unsuccessfully tried Rittenhouse for murder. Mr. Rittenhouse beat all the charges levied against him. Many in the Second Amendment community viewed those charges as the malicious prosecution by the state to appease the angry mob. And basically that was it. Uh, they believed that Rittenhouse was justified in his use of force. Yeah, he was. Absolutely. The guy was being attacked. He was doing nothing before the crowd attacked him. Mr. Huber claims his son was a hero and was just trying to disarm the youth. <laughs> now he's trying to hit him over the head with a goddamn skateboard. Excuse my French. This statement is contradicted by the video footage shown during the criminal case that clearly shows Anthony Huber swinging his skateboard at Rittenhouse's head as he was on the ground. The lawsuit brings up the shooting of a third man by Rittenhouse. The lawyers for Huber state that Gage Grosskreutz approached Rittenhouse with his hands up. Video evidence shows that Grosskreutz pointed a Glock handgun at the fallen man. I don't know where the hell they're getting this from. And what it is, this is a bunch of lawyers who are trying to convince these guys that, hey, we can we can get money. Because Rittenhouse doesn't have the money, but the state does, or the city does. Okay, so here, the complaint reads, after Anthony was shot, Ga Gage Grosskreutz approached the defendant Rittenhouse with his hands up pleading with him to stop his shooting rampage. Without provocation or any legal justification, defendants Rittenhouse shot at Gross Kreutz at point blank range, hitting him in the arm. Thankfully, Gross Kreutz survived. Are you kidding me? This is absolutely ridiculous. In the case, the case also tries to paint Rittenhouse as a white supremacist. There's no evidence of any racism in part of Rittenhouse. The plaintiff also claims that Rittenhouse crossed state lines with an assault rifle. This is a theory that has been disproven time and time again. All they have to do is go back and, and, and take a look at what happened in the uh, the, the uh, previous case. Not only that, but the firearm also never crossed state lines. Mr. Rittenhouse will once again have to fight against these false accusations. We're getting to this here. The Kenosha Police Department is also named in the case. The lawsuit claims that the police deputized Rittenhouse. Again, these are lawyers. They're digging, they're digging, they're digging. The lawsuit claims the parties entered into a conspiracy that led to younger Hoover's death. The plaintiffs claim that because of this conspiracy... Rittenhouse became a state actor in addition to being a militia member. The attorneys for Hoover State don't state where this information was attained, but a representative for Mr. Rittenhouse denied the accusation to Ammo Land News, Mr. John Crown. The process server never served Rittenhouse with a notice of the lawsuit. The process server delivered the notice to Rittenhouse's sister 
at his mother's home. Rittenhouse didn't live at the residence, and a notice of a lawsuit is supposed to be delivered to the residence of the suit's target. The plaintiffs claimed that they had been informed that Rittenhouse didn't live at the address the server would have left with the notice. All right, here's the deal. Rittenhouse team has set up a give, send, go to help fund his defense. The plaintiffs are well financed, judging by the size of their legal team. Contrary to popular belief, Rittenhouse has not seen a Nick Sandman like Windfall. Yeah, poor kid. So anyway, that's it, man. Thanks, John, for doing this story. This poor child is just uh, is being ridiculed. What I'd like to know is that when he <laughs> defeats this case, can he go back and sue these people for wrongful, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, wrongful suit? Yeah. And the lawyers. Go after the lawyers, anybody who backed them up, the state, anybody else. With that said, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Don't forget to check out the campsite. That BB gun is absolutely fun. I'll do some videos showing that thing shooting. I can actually do that in my backyard. It's a lot of fun. So with that being said, guys, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless with men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And that's it. Uh, go. Don't forget to check out John Crump's uh, YouTube channel. Y'all be good. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Boom.